Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saturday. Hallelujah. Come on in and send me some love as you come in. Come on in and send me some love as you come in. You have tuned in to Recipes with a Message, Morning Talks with Galanda. I hope that you come in. And I hope that I can say something today that will inspire your day. Your life will change you. Will bless you and keep you all of your days so i love it come on in come on in y'all let's let just come on in hallelujah i feel the anointing of the holy spirit right now hallelujah on this message that the lord has put on my heart to speak to you on today somebody really really needs a word on today hallelujah and i woke up with a word in my belly for you on today i hope that you are blessed Hallelujah. I hope that you had a very blessed day on yesterday. Hallelujah. But for me, Christmas is all year round. Hallelujah. I love to worship God. Hi, say. I love to thank Jesus for all he's done for me. Hallelujah. It's all year round. It's nothing special about the food that I eat or the company that I keep. It, it, it's just that I reference God every time I get up. Hallelujah. And I reference him when I lay down and sleep. Hallelujah. And go to sleep at night. I wake up in the middle of the morning thinking about him. He's on my mind, you know, because he's my friend. And when you make him personal, you just don't celebrate him one day out of a year. Hallelujah. Because he, he's personal. You know, he's your friend. Matter of fact, you know, you can't make it without him. You know, you can't live without him. You know, you can't breathe without him. You know, you can't walk or talk or speak without him. Everything about you is him. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Let me sip my coffee before I get excited. Hallelujah. And I start preaching before I even get into the message because I just think about his goodness, y'all. And all he's done for me. Hallelujah. And I can't help but to praise him. I came today to tell somebody to take your limits off of God. Hallelujah. All those limitations, all those limitations you got on God, take them off today. And I'm going to help you do it. I come to tell somebody there is no limit on what God can do in your life. There is no limit. See, I'm going to say it again because see, somebody needs to get that. You didn't heard it as a cliche. And people done said it before. And this just becomes just some kind of word that we say. But I need somebody, somebody, anybody to get it in their spirit today. That What I'm saying to you right now is that there is no limit. There is no limit. Please hear me. Please, please hear me. There is no limit on what God can do in your life. Hallelujah. There is no limit. When God says it, he means it. And it shall be as he said it. See, the limitations that you have set around your circumstances has something to do with your belief system. But when you got that crazy kind of faith, that, that faith and you got that relationship with God that knows that what I just said is true, that there is no limit on God, you don't worry about time. You don't worry about the timing because you got that kind of faith. You know God going to come through for you no matter what it time it is. No matter who said it, it won't happen. God gonna do it. He don't need no audience. He don't need no help. How he say KDS she can say. Let me say it for the ones in the back that didn't hear me. There is no limit on what God can do in your life. 
So take the limitations off. <laughs> oh, help us, Holy Spirit. Somebody just put in the comments, no limit. No limits. No limits. Hallelujah. I want to speak to somebody that's getting ready to log out because they thought they were coming for food. You did come for food, sister, but the food that you're going to get is spiritual food, and that's what you need. Hallelujah. I wish people understood that the reason why I'm on good old soul food recipes, hallelujah, is because God divinely ordered my steps. Hallelujah. To get to you when nobody else could. To get to you when you sat in church and you wasn't being able to be reached. God took a little old woman from Hallsville, Texas and set me on good old soul food recipes through a show called Recipes with a Message to get you a message. You giving everybody else a chance. You giving everything else a chance. And nothing has helped you. I'm speaking to somebody right now. God ordered you here. Stop logging off. Stop running from the word. Because the word is what is going to make you free. The message is the answer that you need to everything that's going on in your life. It's not in people. It's not in friends and auntie them and uncle them and mama and daddy. Hallelujah. What you need is found in a relationship with God. Nobody can do it like him. Mama got a cut off. Daddy got a cut off. Friends and family, they got cut offs. But there is no limit in what God can do in your life. Oh, bless us, Holy Ghost. Speak, Holy Spirit. Somebody say, speak, Holy Ghost. Speak, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I feel this thing, y'all. Somebody about to be blessed on today. We have a way of finalizing things because it doesn't happen when we think it ought to. We have a way of throwing in the towel on people and on things when it just don't turn out and it's not looking like it should be. We got a way of doing it, you know? But I come to introduce to you a God that's not bound by time or other people's opinion of your own restrictions and he's not bound by any of that. Hi say Katie old court will say there is no limit in what God can do for you, woman of God. Do you believe that? That there is no limitations. On what God can do for you. I'm finna read something to y'all. If you got your Bible out, if you don't, write it down in the comments so somebody else can get it. John chapter 11. Hi, hey, say, Katie, old court will say. We're gonna start at verse 1. I feel this thing down in my sanctified soul. Hey, hey, say, Katie, old court will say. Sister Key, I feel this thing in my sanctified soul. Hi, and say, Sister Loretta, I feel this thing down in my soul. Hallelujah. John chapter 11. I got a little bit of reading to do, y'all. Y'all know I'm not just a real big guru on reading. Let me get my glasses. Y'all send me some love while I get my glasses. Somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Send hallelujah to the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. With me, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I got quite a bit of reading. I'm not a big reader, so y'all bear with me. Hallelujah. But I'm going to get this message unpacked. Hallelujah. Because I know there ain't no limit on God. And I'm finna unpack this message because somebody needs this today. Hallelujah. You need to know whatever circumstances you find yourself in. Whatever it is you're going through. You need to know that God doesn't have any limitations on bringing you out. 
God is not going to say, oh, I can only go with this person this far because this and because of that and because the hindrance on their job or because the people don't believe in them. No, God is not concerned about who believes in you. And God is not concerned about where you are in your life right now. Hallelujah. As it pertains to getting you where he wants you to be. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to give God a big hand clap of praise right there. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to celebrate with me. Hallelujah. See, this is the truth that keeps me excited. It's the truth of God that keeps me getting up coming to y'all with a word. Hallelujah. It is the truth in God's word that keeps me inspired and keeps me lifting you up. It's this truth and the fact that I've seen it for myself. Let me tell you something, y'all. Who has say I feel the Holy Spirit? Somebody in this season, you're going to get to know him is Jehovah Jireh, your provider. It's only when God visits you in a particular place in your life that you know him in that area. Hallelujah. See, once upon a time, I had a financial need, a debt. Of twenty thousand dollars, y'all done heard the story before, and that's one of the stronger ones, but that's not the only one. And I didn't know how I was gonna come through, but Jehovah Jireh, who hey say care they old court who stepped in and solved my problem for me in a situation that had limits all around it. There was no way that I could see me coming out of $20,000 worth of debt. But Jehovah Jireh stepped in, y'all, and solved a problem for me that all types of limitations was around. Somebody, you just need to hear me. Hallelujah. So now, I stand and sit here before you saying that there is no limit in what God can do because I had a visitation from Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. A God that's not bound by my limitations. Hallelujah. Somebody feels the Holy Spirit around you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh is going to visit you, woman of God. In your financial dilemma. Come next week. Everything that's on the table. Is solved. And done. God is going to show you. That he's not bound. By limitations. Hallelujah. Speaking of Jehovah Jireh. Provider. Hallelujah. Somebody. Hallelujah. Under the sign of my voice. Will know him as Jehovah Rapha. God that healeth thee. Hallelujah. See, there's somebody going through sickness right now. Hallelujah. And God wants you to know that he's not even bound by your sickness because everything that has a name has to bow to the name of Jesus. I don't know what it is that you're suffering with in your body right now, but just tell it to take a bow. Hallelujah. How I tell it to take a bow, Goliath? Jesus. <laughs> Who has said Katie O'Cord? Who said Jesus? Hallelujah. Present to your situation, Jesus. Come on, present to your sickness, Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything that has a name has to bow to that name. Hallelujah. Somebody getting healed right now. And when you come to know him, hallelujah, I told y'all it's personal. I just told y'all how personal it is. Hallelujah. I knew him as Jehovah Jireh. Ain't nothing can change my mind. Ain't nothing gonna make me doubt him because I visited with. He visited with me in my time of need. So I know him to be a God with no limitations because he visited me in a situation with limitations all around it. Hallelujah. I sat in the hospital. I laid in the hospital twice, not once, twice with blood clots. One in my lung, one in my pelvic. Each time I called on him because I said Jehovah Jireh provided for me. Let's see if 
Jehovah, Jehovah Rapha will heal my body. I called on him by his name, healer, hallelujah, and he healed my body, not once, but twice, hallelujah. Ha he say, K they will court and say, the be profound, the mystery of it all, profound the doctors. Hallelujah, when I walked out of the hospital and all they could say is must have been gas or something that we seen in the, the x-ray because there is no blood clot there anymore. But I know him now as Jehovah Rapha. He said, Katie ain't going to quote My healer. He said it is. See ya. Hallelujah. Somebody going to know him today as healer. Hallelujah. I had some people come in and tell me, Galana, my eyes opened. I was blind and my eyes opened. Hallelujah. My ears popped open and I was deaf. Hallelujah. And I couldn't hear. We serve a God that can do the impossible thing in your life. He doesn't have any limitations, y'all. Mm, I'm about to preach myself happy. Y'all feel that? Y'all feel that? I'm about to preach my own self happy, Miss Slade. Miss Slade, I'm about to preach my own self happy. Who has said KDA old court? Who said Rochelle? I'm about to preach my own self happy, sister. Hallelujah. Listen, y'all. Hallelujah. John chapter 11 says Now a certain man was sick named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary, and her sister Martha. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with anointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thy loveth is sick. When Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death. But for the glory of God, somebody said for the glory of God, that the son of God might be glorified thereby. Okay. Hallelujah. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. Hallelujah. Then after that, saith he to his disciples, let us go unto Judah again. His disciples say unto him, Master, the Jews of late sought to stone thee, and thou goest thou thither again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in a day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbles not, because he sees the light of this world. Hey, say, Katie or Cordo say. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbled because there is no light in him. Hallelujah. These things said he, and after that he said unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may wake, awake him out of sleep. Then said his disciples, Lord, he sleep, he shall do well. How be it Jesus spoke of his death. But thou, thou, but they thought he had spoken of taking a rest of sleep. The disciples thought he was talking about that Lazarus was asleep, you know, but Jesus was speaking, saying he's dead. Then said Jesus unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. Hmm. What is it in your life right now that's dead? What is it in your life right now that appears, that has the appearance that is dead? Get that in your head right now. What is it in your life right now that you see as over? Is it your marriage? Is it your wayward child? Is it your employment? What is it in your life right now, woman of God, man of God, that you see as final, that you see as dead? Hallelujah. Then said Jesus plainly, 
Lazarus is dead. And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there to the intent you may believe. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Who am about to get excited? To the intent you may believe, nevertheless, let us go unto him. Jesus said, let us get there to that dead situation. Then said Thomas, which is called Diamas, Unto his fellow disciples, let us also go, that we may die with him. Then when Jesus came, he found that he had lain in the grave for days already. Lazarus had been dead for four days. So then, how long, how long has your marriage been dead? How long has your financial situation been in ruin? You know, we, we consider death pretty final. And when you in the grave and you've been dead for four days, that stank. That's, that's already decomposition. That's already, that's already dead, dead. That's dead, dead. Somebody said dead, dead. Hallelujah. Now, Bethany was nigh unto Jerusalem, about 15 furlongs off. And many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Then said Martha unto Jesus, y'all hear me please. Lord, if thou has been here, if thou had been there, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whosoever thou wilt ask of God, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. Jesus said unto her, Thy brother shall arise. See, I just love that red letter stuff. I just love when I hear Jesus speak. And he says, Thy brother shall rise again. Four days in the grave? Who oh, he say, stinking, dead, four days. Hallelujah. I'm trying to teach y'all how not to finalize things because it look a certain way. I'm trying to teach you how to take the limits off of God. How he said, K they old court will say, hallelujah. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. The life giver is on the scene. The restorer is on the scene. I am that I am. I am the resurrection. That thing you waiting on, I am that. And the life. He that believed in me, here it is. He, this is Jesus speaking. He that believed in me, though he were dead, Yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believeth thou this? Do you believe that? Do you believe that woman of God? Do you believe that man of God? Do you believe that Desiree? Do you believe that Miss Slade? Do you believe that Alexa? Do you believe that? She said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. And when she had so said, she went her way and called Mary her sister secretly, saying, The Master is come and called for thee. 
As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came unto him. Now Jesus was not yet come into the town, but was in the place where Martha met him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. <laughs> Let's get down here to, let's see, go to about 30, chapter 36, same verse, same chapter, verse 36. Then said the Jews, behold, how he loved him. And some of them said, could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died? Jesus, therefore, again, groaning in himself, cometh to the grave. It was a cave and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh. He said, Hath, he has been dead four days. Hallelujah. Let me read that again. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh. He hath had been dead four days. Jesus said unto her, Said I unto thee, that thou, if thou wouldest believe, thou should see the glory of God. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me, and I knew that thou hearest me always. Hmm, somebody needs to be praying that prayer right now. Hallelujah. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that thou may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead, that thing that was dead, Lazarus was dead, y'all, for four days. Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes. And his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, loose him, said unto the clothes, said unto what had him bound, said unto him. Jesus spoke to the situation that had him bound. Jesus spoke to the circumstances that had him bound and said, loose him. Hallelujah. And let him go. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the thing which Jesus did believed on him. I'm going to stop right there. I don't know what it is, hallelujah, glory to God, that you need in your life. I don't know what it is that's dead in your life. But I just read to you a situation that we would put limits on, that was limitless when it came to Jesus, that had no limitations, even in death, even in a a dead body for four days in a grave under the ground with grave clothes on and bound. It wasn't final. It wasn't final when it came to God. I want you to understand and I want you to get it that there are certain things that present themselves to you so that God can get the glory out of the story. Who he said? So that God can come on the scene in an impossible situation that you put limits on and speak to it. And it has to loose you 
and let go. I love this story, y'all, because this is why I love this story. Lazarus was a very popular name. <laughs> oh, Jesus. In that day. And there were several Lazarus in that cemetery. <laughs> but only the one that Jesus called forth got up. See, Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. There are some situations and things in your life that you need to understand that God is going to speak to your circumstances. Hallelujah. You ain't got to worry about nobody else. Getting it. You ain't got to worry about nobody else coming forth. Because when God speaks to you, he's specific about you. When God calls you forth, you gonna get up, baby. You gonna rise. Your sickness is not unto death, woman of God. Your financial situation is not into ruins. Hallelujah. All you need to do, I told y'all the other day, when Jesus is on the scene, everything that appears to be dead. If it's meant for it to get up, it'll get up. If it's meant for it to happen, it will happen. I laid in my bed sleep, went to bed talking to my Jesus about my situation. And while I was yet sleeping, my situation <laughs> was being provided for. I hate it. You learn when you when you make God Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, your banner, your protector, when you make him all that in your life, you learn to lay your head on the pillow and sleep, y'all, knowing that he's going to take care of it. And I love it because I got a situation right now that I'm four days behind speak Holy Spirit I'm four days behind y'all but I love the story because the story says that even in death even though Lazarus was dead and stinking four days in the grave that Jesus said I am the answer <laughs> I am the resurrection Hallelujah. And I allowed you to experience this so that you believe. What am I saying? I'm saying that there's some stuff this past due that God is going to show you that he, there is no limitations. God is going to show you that I can take the limitations off of your life. Just like I spoke to those things that had Lazarus bound. I can speak to those limitations in your life and say, loose her and let her go. And that's what's going to happen in your life today. Hi, say, woman, thou art loosed. Man, thou art loosed. God is speaking to you right now under the sound of the anointing coming from my spirit, the power of the living God. You are loosed in the name of Jesus. We serve a God, y'all. There is no limitation on what he can do. Do you see that? The man was dead for four days. And even in an impossible situation to us, it was yet possible for God. God is going to get the glory out of your story. 
in the process. You shall believe. Somebody's faith right there is growing. See, God, he just don't come, woman of God, before catastrophic things happen. He wants you to know he's God. And he'll come in after everything has been finalized. Just to so that you believe. See, you think it's over. You think your marriage is over. But God said, no, it's not over. I am the resurrection. I am the life. Do you believe? Do you believe? What is it? What is it, woman of God, that you struggle with? What is it that you're struggling with right now? He says, I am that I am. Hallelujah. I am the answer to that thing you need. I told you I'm four days behind what I need. But for God, because I know him, as Jehovah Jireh, my provider, it's already done. I thank him for it because it's already done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hope I bless somebody today. I hope your faith is restored on today. Y'all let me know. Let me know. This word right here was divinely ordered. Hallelujah. It blessed me. I hope it bless you. Take the limits off of God. Somebody just say in the comments, I'm taking the limits off of God today. Who oh, hey, see here they are, see ya, honey, and see ya. Who oh, hey, they are, see ya, see ya, see, see ya. I take the limits off of God today, Delanda. Is there anything too hard for God? You just witness. You just witness. I just read to you in John chapter 11. How a man was dead. Jesus delayed on purpose. That's why somebody need to know. A delay is not a denial. Sometimes that delay. It's to build your faith, to let you know and to reveal to you that you have limits on God because you sit there and say it, it's over. When God says, I am the resurrection, I am the life, there's nothing that I can't do but fail. God can do anything and everything but fail. Get that in your spirit today and take the limits off of God. Hallelujah. I don't care what it is. Hallelujah. I see a baby. Hallelujah. In the hospital. A baby. About nine months, 12 months, somewhere in between nine and 12 months old in the hospital. Woman of God, the Lord says, there is no limitation on what he can do. Y'all get ready. 2020, 2021 is a year of restoration. Hallelujah. You are about to see God in ways that you've never seen God in ways before. God is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. There will be people raised from the dead. There will be blind eyes open. There will be ears open right now. Ears open now in Jesus' name. Unlock the hearing 
of your people that's deaf, God. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus the Christ, I speak it over the universe now. Deaf ears open in Jesus' name. Deaf ears open in Jesus' name. Children with, with hearing aids can hear in Jesus' name. I decree and I declare it now. I speak it into the existence now according to what's already been done through Jesus. You shall hear in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There is a marriage on the brink of divorce. Woman of God, believe God. Believe God. He's going to show your husband some things in the next three days that's going to change his perspective on life. I see another woman. Hi, say Katie Okoru say. Hallelujah. Okoru say. Yes, she can say. I see another woman. Hallelujah. And God is going to break that relationship up. Hallelujah. And reveal some things to your spouse. Hallelujah. It's not too late. The only thing I say to you is what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Forgive. Forgive. Restoration is hitting your house. Hallelujah. Who hey say Katie or Cordo say me and she can say. Hallelujah. Did I bless somebody on today? Y'all be blessed. Y'all share this message. Y'all send me love on the way out. Hallelujah. Send me love on the way out. Hallelujah. My music stopped. Y'all send me love right now. Send me hearts of love while I start my music again in this in this broadcast. Send me love. Hallelujah. Come on and send me love. Come on and praise God. Praise God with me. Send me love on the way out. Hallelujah. Let this word soak in. Hallelujah. Let this word sink in. God is able, yes he is. God is able, yes he is. He is the resurrection and the life, yeah. Believe on him, yeah. God is able. He's able, yeah, to do what he said he would, yeah. God is able. Our God is able to do what he said he do, yeah. He's able, yeah, he's able, hallelujah. He's able to do what he said he do, yeah, hallelujah. Take the limits off of God, yeah, remove your limitations right now, yeah. Take them off, woman of God. Take them off, man of God. Remove your limitations off of God. Hallelujah, he's able. Oh, yeah, he's able, he's able. Hallelujah, he's able. With the fruit of your own lips, just say he's able, he's able, yeah. Our God can do exceedingly abundantly all I could ever ask a thing. 
Hallelujah. According to the power that worketh in me, yeah, yeah. God is able. Hallelujah. Oh, hey, say, Kate, oh, Koro, say, he's able. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Get that in your spirit. He's able. He's able. He's able. Hallelujah. I'm done with the broadcast, y'all. I'm just, I'm just worshiping him. I'm just doing what I do. Hallelujah. I'm just loving on him. You can stay if you want to and love with me, or you can, you can go. I'm through with the word today. Hallelujah. Listen. If this word has blessed you on today, hallelujah, you want to sow. I'm not going to deny you an opportunity to sow into the message. My cash app is dollar sign Galanda Gore. Hallelujah. And if me saying that puts you in any type of way, it causes you to feel any type of way that's not joyous and that's not a giving spirit, don't sow. But if you believe that you that God is speaking to you and you should so, my cash out is dollar sign Galanda Gore. Ask the Lord to give you an amount and sow it. Hallelujah. Ask God to speak to you an amount and sow it. Hallelujah. I'm a firm believer in sowing. And even though people, sometimes they get it twisted. They don't mind paying money to get in a club. They don't mind paying money at the grocery store. They don't mind giving McDonald's their money. But when they hear a word from the Lord, and it's time to bless the speaker, everybody get hush mouth and get quiet. And the momentum drops from, from way up here to way down there. How dare you? Hallelujah. How dare you? Ask God. And he'll speak. Ask him in my good ground and he'll speak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you want to sow and you want to give, I have a lot of sowers, y'all, that's coming aboard because they didn't experience Galanda. They experienced the God in me. Hallelujah. And they want to sow because God touched their heart. So thank you for all the sowers and givers. I can't name names because you know who you are. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessings to you all. Much love. Hallelujah. Y'all pray for me. I need increase. I need a miracle. Hallelujah. And guess what? A God that I serve, the God that I serve, there is no limit. There is no limit to what God can do. Hallelujah. You ought to write that in the comment right now. I wrote it down this morning. There is no limit to what God can do. I wrote it. You write it. Write it in the comment and believe it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What God has for you is for you. Or else every Lazarus in the cemetery would have got up. But only the one that God called forth got up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, glory, oh, glory, oh, glory. Y'all be blessed on today. Share the message, y'all. Share the message. This message that I ministered today is supposed to get into the hand of a, a, a world-renowned leader. Because the Lord spoke it to me. Hallelujah. It's supposed to get in the hands of a great leader. <clears throat> Y'all share it. Y'all share it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Share it. People need it. People need it. People need it. And there, there was something that the Lord attached to this message. That is supposed to reach somebody that can bless my life. Hallelujah. I believe that because he spoke it to me. It's supposed to reach that person. Somebody that can be a blessing to my life is going to hear this message because you obeyed and you shared it. Be blessed on today. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.